Okay, in a day and age where the Staccato, the Atlas, the SVI, and a bunch of other uh, 2011 pattern high capacity 9mm pistols are becoming increasingly popular, <clears throat> it's uh, nice to take a step back and remember that uh, long before those pistols, there was a CZ-75 in single action that was essentially a high capacity 9mm in single action. Initially the uh, triggers were decent, not great. Uh, the aftermarket has definitely caught up with the pistol at this point and you can get some phenomenal trigger work done uh, and frankly if you're mechanically inclined you can do it yourself and get really high quality triggers on these uh, CZ-75s. Basically you're ending up with a uh, high capacity single action 9 millimeter, uh, and the base price of the gun is usually under 600 bucks plus uh, for some really quality components you might be looking at another two or maybe three hundred dollars if you have someone else do the work uh, and so all in for well under a thousand bucks for a really good single action high capacity nine millimeter so this particular cz uh it's a single action version of the 75B. I've done a few things to it uh, that don't come stock. Replace the grips, although the grips on the CZ are actually quite nice. Uh, I just wanted something a little flatter. It makes a really small, slim profile, uh, as you can see. It <laughs> fits a smaller hand. Uh, I've pulled off the ring hammer and replaced it with uh, this old fashioned looking spur hammer. I just like the way it looks. It doesn't do anything functionally. Uh, the oversized safety, which uh, I believe they're now coming with. I swapped out the sights as well, which is not an uncommon uh, thing with the CZs. In this case, I put the fiber optic front and this was a wedge. I just ground it down so I'd have a little lip on the top. Other than that, it's uh, relatively stock. The one thing I will say about the CZs that um, are a little bit different than like an Atlas or a Staccato is the uh, length of the reset. So when uh, we press the trigger here, there's a lot of take up and then the reset is fairly long, but it's still a pretty nice trigger for what it is. And there are companies out there uh, who make a short reset trigger that come back a lot quicker. The uh, standard CZ magazine is a 16 round flush fitting base. You can get higher capacity magazines. Uh, for the restricted states, they do make 10 round magazines. They're re relatively reasonable. You could probably expect to pay about uh, 35 to $45 for uh, decent quality or uh, manufactured direct magazines for this gun. All right, we've got a steel plate downrange, about 20 yards. Let's try a five-shot group offhand and see how it does. Not bad, let's go take a look. All right, not a bad shot group for five shots offhand at 20 yards. Uh, the gun definitely shoots pretty well for what it is. So at the end of the day, I'm not here to tell you that the single action CZ-75 is every bit as good as an Atlas or a SVI or a Staccato. <clears throat> I have uh, some of those guns myself and they make very fine pistols. I will say that for the money, it's hard to uh, find a better bargain right now.